All right, guys. Today we are gonna find out how capable the Honda Grom is off-road in its stock configuration. The only thing that I've done is just the mirrors and then the tail tidy. Everything else is completely stock. Tires, everything. So we're gonna see how it does. Just to give you a preview here, we're crossing that right now. So. We'll see how that goes, and then we'll try to bring it up those mountains. So, let's do it. I'm excited. Go through the middle or go over off to the right? Might go off to the right a little bit here. Or cross the bridge. Oh, that wasn't a problem at all. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh man. Remain closed through April 30th. Which is today. Through April 30th. That sucks. That's the road I wanted to go. I guess we'll just test these other roads. It is handling this stuff really well though. I shouldn't say really well. I mean compared to a dirt bike it kind of sucks, but for it being what it is, it's not bad at all. And it's super fun. Okay, we're coming up to this river crossing again. I'm wondering. Should we try to go back that way, or should we just go? Maybe we should just drive through the middle of it just to see if the Grom can do it. And if not, we'll take a swim. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> oh, it still had no problem at all. Okay, well, there's gonna be this big hill. Kind of want to see how the Grom does on a big hill. It's honestly, it's a it's a difficult place for even 4x4 like jeeps and vehicles to go up so side by sides can make it up usually no problem we will test the groms capability it's not this hill this hill should be fine No problems with this hill. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We're gonna see if we're gonna make this. This is the hard part. one down come on Sliding out. We lost momentum. Hold on. There we go. Just gotta get some momentum. Come on, baby. Oh, dude. I think we did it. 
<laughs> oh man. That just rocked my my header. Let's check to see the damage. No big things or anything. Holy cow. I can't believe that made it. So yeah, we just came up this. If you can see it, it just comes up through here and then up and around and it kind of comes up this which is look how steep that is I don't know if the camera does it justice but it's a difficult road to get up all right the grum has already surprised me and it's off-roading capability guys there's no way we're trying it Oh my god. Dude. We almost made that. I mean I killed it, but. We'll go back down this side. I bet you I could get up it with more speed. So that's it right there. I'll show you guys just for perspective how steep this is. We made it all the way up to that second sagebrush there. Like, <laughs> it went up this. But I can like, you can see my shadow. I just reach out and touch the side of the hill. Super steep. Man, I am second guessing everything now. Or before I'd be like, there's no way. There's no way the Grom could do this. And it is handling it. That one's way steep. The worst happens is we fall down. Oh man, this is a lot steeper than I thought. We got it! Come on, baby! Oh! Almost ate crap! And it's not. Oh! Well, that's what happens. I just bent my shifter in. There we go. Hopefully that works. Let's go the long way around. As you guys can tell, kind of suck at uh, off-roading stuff most of my experience comes with vehicles and when it comes to motorcycles I am very limited experience with off-roading them but the Grom is a great great bike to learn on I guess to off-road holy cow dude we got so many rocks uh, oh <laughs> this thing so it doesn't have a ton of clearance but the wheelbase is so short that you can just maneuver around all the big rocks unless you're like me and you just 
I hit all the big ones. Holy cow. So I originally brought the Grom for like a mess around wheelie bike. I didn't think it would be this capable off-road. I am in just awe. Super surprised. I can't believe it dude. I can't. Especially with stock tires. It is ridiculous that we've made it this far. But yeah, if you're looking for a Grom just to like off-road with, have a good time, trail bike, dude, it doesn't do half bad. That view's not too bad. I just can't believe how well this bike is done. We're almost, we're almost getting air off these little whoop-de-doops. <laughs> There we go, let's hill climb those. <laughs> no. Well, maybe, actually. I might do it. No, there's not, not today, not today. Maybe a different day. You guys let me know if you want me to hill climb those. Well, we have gone through rivers. We have climbed up hills. We have crashed climbing up hills. We have made it farther than my expectations ever had for this little bike. It is amazing. And I think, I'm going to kind of keep going up here a little bit, but I think all the crazy technical stuff is done. It's been amazing oh, going on this off-road adventure with you guys. If you guys like the off-road Grom stuff. Let me know in the comments and we'll keep it coming. Do more adventures, find some cool secret spots. Till then, we will see you guys next time. It's a Grom. Dude, I didn't think it was going to make it, but I made it all the way up to White Rock on the street tires. I know, I was amazed. Say, <laughs> dude. Mm-hmm. <sighs>